But Dr. Patel, uh, who's going to come up here, is a physician at Columbia. She specializes in pediatric pulmonology. She's a, a leader at the Medical School for International Health at Ben Gurion University in conjunction with Columbia, uh, one of Soroka's two affiliated medical schools. We welcome Dr. Lynn Patel. Thank you very much, and it's really an honor for me to be here. As you just mentioned, I'm the director of the North American Office for the Medical School of International Health, which is based at Ben Gurion University in conjunction with Soroka. So this space is really near and dear to my heart, and I just came back from there a few weeks ago, and I've actually seen those helicopters land, and it's really an unbelievable moving experience. I am a member of the congregation of Charade Tequila, and Rabbi David Greenberg, um, David, you may not actually realize this, but I've actually heard about you since I was in high school, because my mother was a social worker, and she worked with a very young woman, a social worker, who was one of the original congregants of your synagogue, and my mother would always come home and tell me about this synagogue up in upstate New York, which seemed really far for me. It just seemed like so far, it's really 15 minutes from where I lived. And little did I know that really 15, 20 years later than that, my husband and I would make that the congregation for our, for our family. And under your leadership, Sharet Tefila has grown from this really small synagogue, which really was just a small group of families that met in a, either a home or a church. I don't even really remember exactly what it was, but I heard about it a lot. And it is now a very large congregation that houses over 820 families. It's, it's really quite remarkable. But what's really remarkable is that under your leadership, you really taught our congregation the values of education, tikkun olam, and commitment to Israel. You are a man who walks the walk, and you talk the, you talk, the talk, and you always walk the walk. You are always spearheading fundraising for our congregation for victims of terror, we have built cut on playgrounds in areas that have been victimized by bombs. And I'm a pediatric pulmonologist, and so the neonatal unit is very near and dear to my heart at Soroka, and I was talking it up at the synagogue. And then the, last, the next thing I knew, during the last war, without telling anybody, you went to Israel because you felt that you really needed to see what was going on there. And I didn't know about this trip, and suddenly I got an email from Avi Golan, the head of the neonatal unit, who said to me one day, Lynn, I think I just met your rabbi. He was just here. And as a result of that, you were so moved. And I remember coming to the synagogue after your trip back and hearing you talk, and just how passionate, it was just really unbelievable how you mobilized the synagogue to sort of wrap its arms around Soroka and the mission of that hospital. Um, I have to say that as I was leaving to come tonight, I asked my daughter, who's 20 years old, who you know quite well, I said, if you were interested in introducing Rabbi Greenberg, what would you say tonight? And she gave me great words of advice. And she said, you know, Mom, she said, I went to Hebrew High School. I loved going. All my friends went all the time. And I have to tell you that last week, I, my husband and I went to a talk at the 92nd Street Y about the future of Israel and about the role of American Jews. And one of the take-home messages was the importance of having young American Jewish youth have literacy about Israel and understanding Israel and understanding the role of Judaism. And so what my daughter said was, he really taught us, she said we loved going to Hebrew High School. And how many American kids really love going to Hebrew High School? And, and in fact, she used to fight with me to go. And I sometimes would say, no, you have to stick home and do your homework. She said, no, I have to go. And she, and she said, you know, he really taught us our roles as young American Jews. He taught us to be aware of the world around us. He taught us to be proud of our Jewish heritage and what it taught us. And he taught us to really be, to be responsible for our Judaism and our responsibility to Israel. And I think that that really sums up the mission that you have given to our congregation and to the people you have touched. So thank you.